At this moment, eight current or former law enforcement officers are in federal custody. Three North Carolina correctional officers from various North Carolina state prison facilities are in federal custody. Two Virginia prison correctional officers are in federal custody. One 911 dispatcher, dispatcher from Northampton County and one other individual are all in federal custody. These defendants have participa excuse me, participated in multiple undercover covert operations in which they are alleged to have knowingly conspired to move and transport multiple kilogram weights of cocaine and heroin throughout in the Interstate 95 corridor here in North Carolina to National Harbor, Maryland, and also the state of South Carolina. All of these defendants were arrested this morning as a result of a 54 count federal indictment that was unseal unsealed also this morning. Uh, all defendants are charged with conspiring to distribute and possess with the intent to distribute cocaine and heroin, and all are charged with conspiracy to use and carry firearms during and in relation to the charged federal drug conspiracy. The current law enforcement officers that have been charged have also been charged under the bribery statute. The specifics uncovered by our two-year investigation alongside the North Carolina Department of Public Safety and with the assistance of the Halifax County Sheriff's Office are especially disappointing in light of the esteemed and trusted positions the individuals arrested today held. The Northampton Sheriff's Office and the Windsor Police Department learned of this investigation just this morning and have pledged their full cooperation. I want to make it clear that the vast majority of public servants and law enforcement officers are honest and dedicated individuals who work every day to do the right thing for their communities. The small number of public service servants who put their own agenda first and violate our laws will be exposed. The FBI is uniquely positioned to investigate allegations of public corruption and we will work aggressively to protect the public trust. Public cor corruption will not be tolerated no matter the level of government, the names of those committing the fraud, or the complexity of the criminal scheme.